beautiful people and welcome back to the channel so today we'll be making this beautiful dress so here are what we'll be needing for the dress your tip your scissors your chalk your plain and pattern fabric you could also use two different shades maybe dark and bright color your ribbon and your zip so here we'll be drafting our pattern so here we're starting with our shoulder which is seven and a half inches then we mark from our shoulder to our bust point, from shoulder to waist point, from shoulder to under bust point. From your shoulder to your waist and bust point, we use 18 inches. From the shoulder to the under bust point, we use 12 and a half inch. From the shoulder to the waist, we use 15 and a half inch. So those measurements depend on individuals. Yours could be 11 inches from the shoulder to the bust point. From the shoulder to the waist could be 18 inches, depending on your size, if you're bigger or you're bustier, those could be the factors. So now we're going to be measuring our client, taking our client's measurement. So here we use nine and a half inch plus one and a half seam allowance for the under bust, we used nine inch and one and a half seam allowance. Then going to the waist, we used seven and a half inches plus two inches for the dart and then one and a half inch for the sewing allowance. Then we join our dots together. Then we go to our bust, we measure seven and a half inches, go from our shoulder we join it together then from our shoulder we measure seven and a half inch that's the depth of our client armhole and then we connect it to our already um dotted similar ones then we go to our bust and under bust and we to take our that measurement which we use three and a half inches and then we go to our bust center of the bust to take away half inch from it then we go from our under bust that we create a curve to that half inches we already created and then from the center of the bust you measure seven and a half inches again then from the under bust that you connect it with a curve you could use a french curve i was just using my freehand sketch since i didn't have the french curve at the time and then we measure our neck we use three inches for the wideness and five inches for the depth so depending on how deep or how wide you want your neck to be then we go to the shoulder we measure half and quarter inch for the slip of the shoulder and then we were done basically with this but then we're going to take in the bust area of the pattern and we're going to be creating another bust because we want it to have pleats and using this won't be we will not be able to create that pleat. So here we'll just be cutting the center and then cutting from the center to the neck um area where we stopped our neck area from. And then we'll just open it up, but then we have to transfer that to another sheet. So here we're just transferring it so you could open the space for five inches you could do four and a half inch you could use four inches depending on how you want your pleats to be many or if you don't want it to be so much you could use three and a half inches if you want it to be much you could use five inches and then we're done we just cut that out and that's the bust area we'll be using for our dress so we'll put that Oh, we're done cutting that, we just put it aside. So here we're just trying to fit into our uh, um, pleats to the body to be able to mark the areas we want it to con where we want to connect them together so that 
we don't over pleat our clothes or under pleat it. So after we're done marking, taking those marks, on our fabric, we're going to notch it so we could be able to know those points where we are supposed to connect them together. So now we're going to be measuring for the skirt, drafting our skirt. So initially, you know the waist we use 15 and a half inches. So here we're using 15 inches. You know, we're using the half inches, adding it back. So when we're sewing, we're going to take it away. So here we added from... 23 and a half inches which was 18 eight and a half inches eventually for the hip measurement from the waist and then we added extra six inches for our skirt length so here we're just connecting our dots together so when we're done we'll be taking our waist measurement next our waist measurement being seven and a half inches and then we're going to add our darts measurement which is two inches and our one and a half seam allowance back to it and then we go to our hips which we used nine and a half inches plus one and a half seam allowance and then we just copied the last um, measurements from the hip to our skirt length which we eventually don't need but we just did that and then you connect your waist to your hip and then we just connected our skirt length to the hip we really don't need it but we just did it and then you go from your cent the center of your skirt to your original hip measurement and you connect a straight line that's where the v effect is coming from you connect a straight line yes that's the v effect of this of the skirt and then just connect your straight line on the hip back on the same allowance and then you cut out so here we're cutting the back since i literally forgot to draft for the back so we're cutting the back measurements using the highest measurement of the body for the now for the waist for the back because we'll be having to add another six inches for the upper part of it so here we're just we added one inch for the seam allowance and we'll cut we we'll cut it open and then so nextly we're taking our upper part of the dress we're measuring the inches we need so here five and a half by eight we cut that out so here we're just cutting our neck the wideness and the depth of the neck which we use four inches while we're using four inches is plus a zip allowance we use four inches by two and then we're taking away half and quarter inch for the depth of the shoulder and then we open that up and we're just placing it so you can see what i'm trying to see here so nextly we're trying to cut out the gathers left in the dress the gathers that you will be adding to your v part of the dress so note that we don't want our dress to have this high low effect because if it's going to be having the high low effect we're just going to cut it straight like you don't need to give it a v cut or anything you just have to cut it straight but here we wanted to have that effect like the straight effect we don't want the high low effects we just want the length of the gown to be equal we don't want it to be high or low at the hip side so here we just took the measurements of the hip not from the skirt length we took the measurement of the hip and we divided our original length from the skirt of the hip with minus our skirt our hip length from the original length so here we just took the measurement and we cut it out here we're just opening up the um, main part of the dress uh, of the gathers so here we just put our uh, hip line on the beginning of the hip and then we marked it and then we also made sure to connect it leaving out 
same allowance at the end of the opening and then we just cut that out so when we're done cutting here we're just using our hand to play around pleat it and putting it the skirt there so you could pleat and then here once cut the sleeve of your dress so here you're just going to measure the sleeve here we use 12 inches because we wanted to have this puffy effect that's why we went down by four inches so here you see the puff effect after like folding it and then we just cut it out since there's going to be also pleating and the sleeve so we're not using the accurate measurement we want it to be bigger and then we had more length at the upper side of the sleeve so it could be puffier yeah and here we're just cutting open the lower part of the sleeve so we could fold it so then we put that we notch the center so you know you could get the center when you're joining the sleeve together and then we go to our machine and we sew so here we are we just already sew our darts and our zip allowances we made all our darts already here we're just fitting in our bust area where we already notched so we don't make mistake then we take it to the machine and we sew it yeah to so make sure you notch your bust area and here we're just opening our zip allowance to be able to join the upper part of the blouse to the body yeah so when you're joining your zip allowance just join it with gathers don't sew it tight so that you won't tear or rip your clothes when you're trying to open it up so here we already joined the upper parts to the body here you can see the effect of the gathers i mean the pleats so here we're going to join the upper body to the skirt and when you're joining, you make sure your darts are on the same line. So you could have a very neat cloth. So here we're just opening our zip allowance. Make sure you use gathers to sew it so you don't have issues loosening it. So here we're just going to join them together. So here we are ready joined the line our gathers together and we already emmed the lower part of the gathers so we've gone and come back we've joined our body together we've joined the shoulder to the together as well so here we're just pinning our clothes together so when we chuck it and want to sew they don't be running up and down and we don't make mistake yeah so here we're just pinning pinning our clothes down so when we're done pinning we want to take the measurements for our clothes so mind you to get an accurate measurement you measure from your zip allowance because that's the accurate center of your if you're measuring from the front you may not get it so you have to measure from your zip allowance and you'll make your clothes like give you the accurate measurement so when you're measuring you divide your measurement by four not by two so you could turn it over and do the same on the other side of the chest yeah so when you're done go to your machine and you sew it down so when you're done here we just came back from sewing to the center of the gathers and then we're pinning everything down so we don't over pleat in one area and one area is not enough or maybe the pleat is very little it won't make the dress come out nice you know so just pin them down center to center and joining to joining yes so you pleat everything down to have um, i said pleat i don't know what i'm saying anymore you pin everything down jerry to have a very um neat and 
nice effect so i just got in the thread you know so when you're done pinning you go to your machine and sew it down with lovely pleats so here we just joined the sleeve together and here we're just going to aim it down and leave space for our elastic then we already passed our elastic here we're just pinning the center of the sleeve and the joining of the sleeve together so it would the joinings would be together because if you don't join them together especially the notched part the center of the sleeve and one side will now be bigger than the other it's not really going to be nice so you have to make sure everything is neatly made yeah and then you go to your machine and join it and mind you i forgot to tell you remember to use your ribbon to turn the neck i already did that i forgot to mention and when you're done yeah you're literally done making your beautiful dress trust me and that's the beautiful dress